Welcome to the last video of this series about Core Lightning. Today I am going to install, the Spark server. Yet another way of connecting a Core Lightning node to Lightning Mobile Wallets. It requires minimal setup, and the Spark server will take care of the Tor hidden service for you. You just need to run it, and connect it to a wallet. I will be using, the Spark wallet, built by the same developers. Ok. A word of warning. The development of this project seems to have stopped, or at least slowed down during the last few months. Unless this changes, I do not encourage you to use this method of connecting a mobile wallet to your node. But I do encourage you to try it, so you know what's available out there. Let's go to their GitHub. At the time of this recording, the latest release is 7 months old. So this is the wallet. And here's the instructions for building the server. I will download the whole repo. Check out to the latest version. And verify its digital signature. Good signature. Notice that this key has expired. Remember what I said about this project possibly being unmaintained. To install the server, just type the following command. In episode 3 of this series, I showed you the correct way of installing Node.js, plus a hack to avoid some permission issues when running npm. I will leave a link in the description in case you missed it. Let's try fixing those issues, typing, npm, audit, fix. There's still issues. If you do some research, you will find that the Spark server uses some packages where vulnerabilities have been found. Again, this release is 7 months old. For testing purposes, let's ignore that, and run the server. First, let's ask for help. The options are self-explanatory. Want to connect over Tor, and pair your mobile wallet with your node? Option O. For starting a Tor hidden service. Option capital Q. For printing to screen a QR code with the authenticating credentials. Now I can connect Spark Wallet, or any Spark server compatible client, to my Lightning node. The Android Spark Wallet, does not route traffic over Tor. You will have to run it, through Warbot. Scan QR. Save settings. I am connected to my node. Over Tor. I told you it was easy. You stop the server, pressing Ctrl C. Some mobile wallets, like Zeus, still cannot connect to a Spark server using a QR code. You will have to provide the address of the hidden service, the port, which is 9737 by default, and the access key to the server's API. You get this information, with the options, O, and K. Once you have paired your mobile wallet to your node, you would want to leave the server running, during normal operation, only with the option, O. Oh. So, we are finished. I just want to remind you, that you can enable all the Juicy Bolt 12 stuff, if you configure Core Lightning with the experimental features enabled. I mentioned that in Episode 1. Go have fun.